What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nick Inns Lawn and Landscape. So if you've been following us for a while, you know a couple months back we bought a bus and we transformed it into a dump truck. Now we haven't posted a video of this truck finished until right now. We're going to show you guys the truck and we are going to wrap a few things up. Uh, we're basically all the way done but we got a few add-ons that we're going to be putting on the truck today and here she is. Turned out really, really nice. I've showed a couple uh, pictures and videos of it, most of the way finished, but this is, this is pretty much it. The only thing that we're gonna be adding today or tonight is some lights. So all in all, really happy with how this truck turned out. And we can honestly say we did it all. So. Pretty cool. Just put a head unit in it the other day and I left some of this open yet down here because that's where we're gonna be putting the switch or switches for our lights. So what we're going to be adding is some strobe lights and some new headlights. Um, we got all this stuff from Route 1 Industries here, but we've got a backup alarm or a backup horn We've got some new headlights, LED headlights. We've got some strobes. These are some flush or surface mount strobes. Uh, these things are pretty heavy duty, pretty heavy little things. Uh, but we got four of those. We've got some square lights or just some flood lights. We're gonna mount those out back for whenever we're salting with this truck or doing anything at night. Uh, we'll just have them pointing kind of at the ground from up under the bed. And then this is the main strobe light that's going to be going up top. So this is pretty much the last stuff left to go on this truck. We did a ton of work. And for those of you guys that don't know us or haven't been following us, this was a bus. <clears throat> pretty hard to believe seeing it now, but it was. Go back quite a few videos ago and you'll see exactly what it looked like. But Turned out really, really nice, and we're excited to start using it. We had some issues with the trailer plug back there. Uh, weren't getting the proper connections back there, but we got that stuff figured out. We just gotta wire up these strobes. So tonight, we're gonna walk you through the process of installing these lights. I got a couple guys coming to help, but Nick and I are gonna get started laying some of this stuff out and figuring out exactly what's gonna go where and how it's all gonna go together. We've gotta tie a lot of stuff into the same switch, so it's gonna take some figuring out, some routing of some wires. So we're gonna go ahead and get a jump start here. Say hi, Austin. What's up? All right, so we're working right along. Uh, I already changed my mind on something. We were originally gonna put the lights right there, but I changed my mind and we went with back here instead. So it's gonna be mounted right like so. And these are the flush mount strobes. Like I said, they put out amber light single color, no white or anything. Um, and then basically, let me find one of those. This is what those lights look like. So you have a white, a red, and a black coming off each one. So we've made up a harness out of a white, a red, and a black. And basically, your red is your positive or your power going to your switch, your black is your ground, and then your white is how you change the pattern of the strobe. Austin went through, he said he thinks there's about- Momentary positive. Momentary positive, there you go. He said he thinks there's about 13 different patterns on there, so uh, be sure to sync your lights. He, he taught me this, but 
Um, and I guess I'll tell you how to do that real quick. So to sync your lights, you'll hook up. He's got a little, what do you call this thing? A battery pack, jump pack. charger, jump, jump pack. Start your vehicle with it. So you hook up the your red to the positive, red to the positive black, to the black to the negative, and then the white you momentarily tap on yep. the positive. So you'll just touch this to the positive, and each time you touch it, pull it away, that changes your pattern. So we've got to run a wire back to each wire that we have coming off this light. So we're gonna have to, what we're gonna do is I've already ran that up into the cab where our switch is gonna be. So I'm gonna run these wires straight over to this driver's side light and then we'll Y off of it after we make that connection and go over to the passenger side light. And then we're also going to have to run some of these up to the light he's working on now, which is the main strobe. So we're gonna have two in the back and we're gonna have this one up here that are all gonna be connected. And all of that is going to be ran to a switch right here. So you have this little panel on these 4,500 trucks and it's got eight little squares in it and you can pop them out individually and then one of them's taken already. So I'm gonna use up three more because we're gonna have a switch for our strobes we're gonna have a button to change our pattern, and then we're gonna have another switch that's gonna control those floodlights that I showed you, which those will just be our salt lights or these lights right here, these floodlights. So we use these when we're salting or if we're doing cleanups late at night or whatever. Anytime we need extra light, we'll just kick those on, and that'll be a solid white light coming back here, but we'll have the strobes when we're out working, so. That's pretty much where we're at right now. I'm working on the wiring. Um, I've got all of the wire harness that we made up ran into here. And I've also got another one that's running out to the battery, which is under there. So we've got four wires up here all together. One goes to the battery and the three go back to these lights. And that's the three that I just showed you. So that's pretty much what we're working with. And then we're gonna have to run another positive back here to these floodlights, that one will come up in here to a switch and then again go down to the battery. So we've got the driver's side mounted up. We're working on the passenger side now. Got to solder these three connections and then put our bolts in. And then down here we're going to solder those wires you see in the middle there. That black, red, and white is going to come over to here which that's what's running over to the driver's side light and that's what's running up to the switch. So we gotta solder those together as well and then all the back connections will be made. All right guys, so we're gonna fast forward a little bit. Austin and I got all of this wiring done and we actually got everything buttoned up. It's about two weeks later right now than it was the last time we took any footage. But we were talking back here about how we had to tie in those wires we got all of that done, we got everything ran, and we got all of our switches in here ready to go. I'm missing some pieces of my dash here, so don't judge me too much, but right here, if this thing will focus. Right here, we've got our two switches and our momentary push button. Like I said, I'm missing a couple pieces of my dash. I gotta still pop that in and this in, but right here, we've got our switch for our strobes. You can see some in the window there. I'll show you those in a second. That one is a light up switch. And then you've got this, which is your push button. So every time you hit this, it changes the pattern of the lights. So like I said, I'll show you that in a second. And then this switch right here controls our floodlights out back, which we'll use for uh, any kind of fall work when we're working in the dark or for spreading salt. So I'll jump out here and I'll show you what we got. I'm just gonna leave everything on and then I'll show you the push button too. Maybe Austin can operate that. So here's what we're looking like out back. Super sleek, I like how they mount up. Don't really take up any space, but they are super bright. And then we got our floodlights back here. 
for our salting and our leaf cleanups and just hooking up the trailer. It's nice if you're hooking up the trailer early morning, you pop that guy on. Whoever's uh, doing all the connecting for the trailer can see what's going on. Don't mind my missing reverse light. That thing fell out the other day. Uh, it's just loose in the socket here. This was all cut out with a CNC machine and I think I just need to weld a bead or something in here to make it a little bit tighter. So I'm gonna have to do something like that. That fell out while I was driving down the road. So not much I can do there, but looks pretty good. And then up here, this is where we've got our permanent mount. We did that right on top of the toolbox. We ran the wire into the toolbox and then we popped it out and just ran it down right there. That's kind of what we had to do because on the inside there's a bunch of shelves. So other than running it along the inside and drilling a hole through each shelf and making it pop out the bottom. That's how we had to do it and I didn't want it in the toolbox. That would have been dangerous. Just trying to shove stuff in there it would have ended up catching something on that wire and ripping it out of there. So I didn't want to do that. So we have it running out here and I'll put a couple of pieces on there. A couple of fasteners to hold it where it's at. But all in all, turned out really nice. We also put some headlights on. I'll show you those in a minute and I'll turn the lights off so you can see how bright this is. But we put some LED headlights in here. Those things are so bright. Those are just plug and play, so really easy to install. Let's see if I have the box for those. Yep, here's the box. Those are the ones that we put in there. Five by seven square LED work lights. So we got those in there. Got a couple more of those strobes that are gonna be going on one of our other truck. We got a new strobe right here. I'll turn the lights off and I will turn on the running lights and the headlights so you can see exactly how this thing's gonna look at nighttime. So here's our view from the front. As you can see, it's lit up pretty good. We have all the lights up in the shop now. Hit so, the high beams. Yeah, hit the high, well, I can, go ahead. I'll show the wall here to show how bright these things are. If you follow us on Instagram, you could, uh, see the difference that we did whenever we swapped out one of these lights and we left one factory it's like five times brighter literally these lights are so bright and just make the truck look a lot more modern too up front but this thing is lit up to say the least yeah this was the factory that was how we had them set just the double flash that one running light's not on. I wonder. Yeah, I bet the plug came out of it. Is it there? Is it plugged in? Yeah. Huh. Those are brand new lights. Try wiggling it. Unless that socket's bad on the wiring, or if the wire got pinched somewhere, but it's weird. Who knows? Just something else to figure out, but this truck is one step closer to done. Oh yeah, the sideboards weren't on there last time you saw it either. We added those, which are two by tens. They're actually about nine and a quarter. So by stacking two of them up, we added about 18 and a half inches. Let us know down in the comments what you guys think. And again, all these lights came from Route 1 Industries. I'll leave their website down in the description and I will leave the lights that we picked up down in the description. If you head over there and order anything, be sure to use code Nickens10 and you guys will save 10% on your entire order. And you can light your rig up just like this. So like I said, I'll leave this in the description, but I'll go through it real quick. This is the surface mount. One's on the back, the strobe's on the back. 6.0 TS. 
And then these are the headlights. I don't know exactly what trucks these will work for. If your headlights look like mine, these will work though. These ones here are the floodlights. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Part number MS1015FL5 is what it looks like there. So that's what we got. I also got some scraps here. Haven't opened these up yet, but I'm sure I'll be doing so soon. But these ones here are going to go on my other dump truck. And then everything else has been installed. So if you're looking for any of these lights, like I said, these little strobes are the first one that I showed you. This one here, 6.0 TS. And you got these headlights. And then you got the floodlights. So, and I'll leave the link in the description of their website. If you guys want to head over there, check out some lights. Code Nickens10 saves you 10 bucks or 10% uh, of I me. Mean. And then you can get these there too. This is for one of the other trucks, but this is the version that just plugs into the cigarette lighter. The one we have up here is hardwired in. So. All right, so this is where we're at now, and every time he hits that button. It'll change the pattern. What is there, like 13 different ones? I think so. That's four, five. Yes, yeah, so you just flip through until you find one that you like. Which really they're all gonna do is the job. It's all about safety. And this definitely keeps you a lot safer. They're all pretty similar, just, and as he's hitting that button, this one on the roof is changing too. Pick what you want. I'll probably choose something that's not obnoxious, something that gives you a good flash, but nothing too crazy. You don't want to distract people, but you definitely want to get their attention if they're coming up on you or getting ready to pass them. And I'll give you one more shot of this. Just the three switches and then the button. Thanks to Austin for all his help. No problem. Helped me get her all wired up. It's really not a one man job, so it was nice to have a hand on this and finally get this interior put back together. Feels good. So I got a few pieces to put in there, but for the most part, it's put back together. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all we got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking to wire up any kind of strobes or hazard lights on your truck, hopefully this helped you out, gave you a little bit of guideline or baseline. Um, but all in all, I just want to thank everyone who has followed along on this journey of this truck build. It's been a long time, about a year roughly, uh, a little bit less than a year, I think. So it's been a long time, but to take this on, on top of everything else that we've been doing, our full landscape job, of course, and maintaining everything else, Else, moving into this shop a lot of things have happened since we bought the bus so to all of you guys who have stayed patient with me followed along and are gonna watch this video and see the finished product let me know down in the comments what you guys think uh, like I said I really do appreciate all you guys following along it's been a fun journey for us so uh, we'll see what our next project is gonna be as of right now I don't really want one to be perfectly honest I want all my stuff to be working and ready to go to work but eventually I know I will buy another project because like Nick Nick says, my brother, he says, I'm addicted to junk. It's kind of a, a running joke around here. Uh, but it is true, as a young entrepreneur, when you're starting off, you kind of sometimes buy junk just to get the piece and try to start making some money with it or try to be able to advertise for a certain service. It's hard to do so when you don't own the equipment. If you're renting things, uh, it makes it kind of a pain to advertise for a certain service unless it's something that you only do once or twice a year and you call a handful of customers and say, hey, look, I'm doing this on this day or this day or you know, I'm doing
doing it on this day, weather permitting, however you want to explain that to them. It makes it kind of hard to advertise when you don't own it. So, um, you know, you do kind of get stuck with junk sometimes. But it's also taught me a lot when it comes to mechanics. I've been put in situations where it's either figure it out and get it back working or you're gonna lose a job or lose a customer or lose X amount of dollars, whatever. So, uh, and I'm not a give up type person. I love a good challenge. So I think that's part of the reason why I buy this junk. But uh, going off on a little bit of a rant here. But anyway, just wanted to mention that and say thank you. I wanted to make sure to say thank you to everyone who has followed along on this truck build. For now, it is done. We will be doing a few more things and we have a couple of things to button up, but it's basically done and I don't have any other plans for it as of right now. So leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought of the build. Really do appreciate you guys following along and if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, we will have another project before too long. All right guys, that's all we got for this one. Again, big shout out to Austin too. Uh, definitely big shout out to Austin for helping me with all this wiring. He taught me a lot in that process. Uh, I've done a lot of wiring myself, but he definitely taught me quite a few things. It's nice having four eyes versus two. So that's all we got for this one guys. I'll see you in the next one.